you doing today, dirty old gotta find out what's wrong with the UDR bills up here, eh? Freaking right it is. So, as you've seen in the last video there, I took the drivetrain out. And as I get inspected this thing, I see I bent another arm, boys. So guess what? The aluminum arms are going on, they are. But uh, we'll get the body off this thing, and then we'll uh, start tearing her down and see what's really going on. And that's what I like to do, it is. Now I'm gonna hand bomb all this. Just have some patience, eh? So I'll undo the old screws in the body and we'll get her out of the way because she is just a mess. As you can see, I got my napkin down here on the ground or my blanket. So I don't get my desk all cocked over because it's just a mess. Hopefully I have the parts I need to get the old UDR up and running. I got an extra rear end, I got an extra, the other thingy, my bobbers, and I got the other thingy, my bobbers. So we'll get this thing apart and uh, hopefully have something to show you here, for God's sakes. Why wouldn't I? I don't have to take out all the screws, boys, because there's only a few holding her. The rest is kind of just flopping in the wind, it is. See? All right, it is. I'm scared. Freaking right, I'm scared. Oh, you just cocked everything right over on it. Oh, eh. Oh, eh. Might have to invest in a new body for the old UDR. There's not much left of her, boys. Not much left of her. Yeah. Actually, let's take that screw. That hold nothing. For freak's sakes. It is what it is, it is. We're almost there. All right, so that should have her. So let's strip this thing of all the good plastic, eh? So I'm not feeling very right here at all on the front end either. What is going on? Oh, that's what it was. Oh, there we go. All right, so I've never took one of these apart before. So you're gonna have to bear with me here because I don't even know where to start really on this thing. Let's start by dropping the old bottom plate. Drop the old bottom plate on her, we will. See what's underneath here. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Is that the right size? Rick, I gotta get some tools here, man. I can't hand bomb all this. My arms are gonna be sore. Hold on, I gotta get a tool on you. All right, let's see if we got something here that might work. Nope, well, that was a waste of friggin' time. Oh, well, I guess we're hand bombing. There's like, Hundreds of screws in this thing. Holy. Oh, I can't do it. Hope to God I can find something in this mess. Nope. Hope I can see. I feel like I'm gonna puke, boys. Stomach's upset. Stomach's upset it is. Nope. Nope. Not really the right one, but it might work. Whatever works, eh? No, nope, it's not gonna work. I like to know what the hell happened to all my friggin' tools here. I used to have a bit for every, every friggin' Allen key in this household. Now I can't find any of them. Not even one. There's absolutely dick all in this pack. Nothing. Unbelievable. Yeah, I need some tools. Freaking right I do. This is going to be painful watching me do this. Oh well, hey, everything can't be freaking done in two minutes, eh? Nothing can be done in two minutes. Eh? So I noticed the drive shaft, it's not in the rear end because when I hold that, she's tight. So it's got something going on in the transmission section. So that sounds expensive to me, big time. What, are they bigger? Of course they're fucking bigger. Oh my god. Hey, I found one to fit them ones I did. Comment down below if you think I'm doing this wrong. Because I've never took one of these apart before. This is the first time for me. It's kind of cool because I like pulling things apart I've never pulled apart before. Easy, Carol, gentle, easy. Where the hell the hole, Jim? Oh, we got a skipper we do. We got a skipper, boys. Oh, something's happening. Oh, friggin' right something's happening. There's one more screw somewhere, I think. Dude. Oh, there is another screw. I missed one I did. Oh, look at that. I can see something, I can. See some friggin' grass, eh? Anybody want some grass? Decent. Get that in ya. All right. So, by the looks of it, it's an easy fix, boys. I lost a pin in the old doodad right there. No pin o in the old drive shaft o, eh? So, that's kind of friggin' nice to see. Holy shit, there must be still something in there. It's friggin' seized in there, man. Let's get this rear end apart, because we gotta change those arms anyways, and uh, go from there, eh? Careful! Easy! Gentle! Look at the size of that screw, boys. She's a long one, she is. So there's that arm. So now we just gotta pull out the old shockaroo-skis. Oh, I bet that too. Friggin' big time. Ah, that's decent. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. You can probably see it. Bent a trailing arm I did. That's from a hard landing, eh? Shocks are disconnected. Arm is off, eh? Let's get the other one off. I bet this arm. <clears throat> get out of there. <laughs> what is that? What's that called? The trailing arm? No, this is a trailing arm. These are other arms. Maybe we'll just call them other arms for now. And we're gonna have to pull the wheels off just to get them other ones out. Frig. It's always something. We're gonna have to pull off that trailing arm and straighten it out. There we go. All right, there we go. Those are undone. So now let's pull the old Tyruskis off. I don't know if that's the right size or not. I don't like it. I don't like that, boys. Let's try this one. Wrong size. Why wouldn't it be? Wrong size. Frig's eggs. What about this one? There it is. Oh, frig. 
What are the chances of me having that down here? Hey, do I have the other piece too? Why would I? Hand bomb. There's one. Ooh, yeah, boy. There we go. Now I can pull the rest of the trailing arm off. Of course that thing's in the way. Why wouldn't it be? Why the hell would the screws be in the other way so you can get this stupid thing apart? Why your minds want to know, boys? Something's happening. There it goes. So there's that, Nat. So you just pull on them, you do. Give them a Yankee do. Oh! Lost the other brake caliper I did. Friggin' right I did. So you know what? There's probably something going on back there too. Holy oh, that on there. We did some damage we did. Just happen to have more of these I do. Come on, get off there. Oh, frig. Oh yeah, something's going on there for sure. I know what's happened. These things have a pin in them. See the pin right here? And watch, I'm not gonna say it's true, but it's probably true. It's probably spun inside this, on this one. So you wait until I get this off and we'll friggin' see, we will. Because that should just pull off and it's just cocked on there. Oh my God, she's not coming off, boys. Oh yeah, just cocking it over. For sakes. Not really too concerned about breaking this because like I said, I got lots of them. So try not to break the rear end. Oh, you know what? The rear end is broken. I need to change the rear end too. Oh God. Well, we might as well just disconnect the whole damn thing, I guess. Rear end El Broco. Get that out of the way. Holy boy, is that straight? Pretty much, eh? There we go. That one's straight too, eh? Perfectly straight. So those can go over there. Now what we gotta do is we gotta remove them screws. Something's happening. It's falling apart as we go here. And that's a different size. Why wouldn't it be? Holy, is that in there? What is going on, man? It's not taking too long to get this apart, to be honest with you. I like the way they did these. These are pretty freaking decent. Pretty nice to work on they are. So now we just gotta undo the limiter straps, which have another Torx. Torx everywhere there is. A lot quicker than changing a real car rear end, I'll tell you. You'd be here all freaking day doing this, boys. I've only been 20 minutes, and I've left you a few times. All right, so that's off. So let's see if we can't get this drive shaft right off here. I really don't know what's holding it on, to be honest with you. There's no friggin' pin in it. Holy, what is that? Boys, oh my God, what happened? That's from running her when she's already broken, I think. I've melted the shaft or something. Oh God, something's melted right off her. Hey, we got debris, boys. I think I might have to get out my buck. I think I'm into more parts than I think of here. I'm working in here right now and I really don't know why that moves so much. Oh, it's travel for the suspension. Hopefully we're good in there. I'm hoping. Freaking right, I'm hoping. So, we lost the pin that goes through there. So that's probably one of the reasons why we lost the rear end. But we also broke off one of the um, brake calipers. So that means that rear endo is garboed. What we're gonna need to fix that is we're gonna need two of these. We're gonna need one of these. And we're gonna need one of them, boys, which is part number 8540. But I do have an extra set of these stock, but I did purchase some aluminums, which just brings a weaker link to another point, but I'm gonna put the aluminums in anyways because they're just cool, eh? So we'll put them in when we're done here. So let's get this rear end apart and uh, we'll change her out and go from there. Here we go again, I need one piece out of the bag. So the rear end comes with the end buckles, which I broke, and an extra rear end housing which uh i don't think i need so first thing we need to do is pull this screw out pull this screw out and we'll uh eh, this should just slide off maybe yep yeah, there we go comes right out with the drive shaft boys so we'll set that aside this one here is still good so we're not going to pull that one out so now we got to try to get this thing apart which is all cocked over oh my god boys it's on there man oh yeah See if I can't get a hold of this thing without wrecking it. So we'll try turn, oh, try turning this thing. There it is. And hopefully we can get her in the right spot where it wants to slide off. There it is, we found it. So that's what's happened. Inside it's actually grooved the whole thing out. So guess what? Oh, hey, that thing is junk, boys. Just so you know. So we'll slide this pin off. We'll slide that out and guess what? That's garbage too. Freaking right it is. So we'll slide this on which is looser than dicks. So maybe I needed a part of that. Where'd it go? No, there's no part in there. So that's part of the drive shaft. So that goes back in here and the bearing goes into there. There we go. So there we go, that's on. Like I said, that's garbage. And we'll throw this back on, which goes backwards. Back to front, boys. There we go. Slot the screws back in her. Not sure what screws they were, but hey, we'll use these ones. Cause I get screws everywhere, now I do. That's not it. Here's my other one. Here it is. Slot this back in. She's coming together. She's coming together quick, she is. We'll check that, yep, good, yep, yep, everything's straight. 
So now that that's done, we'll throw the pins back in. Sometimes you gotta check these things you do. And I'm not gonna reuse that one, even though it's good, but I'll keep it for a spare. Because I'm gonna put new ones on it because that's just the way I roll. So we'll slide that in like so. Put the brake caliper back on after we slide this back off because you gotta put the brake caliper on and then slide her together. And then we'll take this one and we'll put her over the brake caliper bridge and we'll slide it back on. Once we put the pin in. Where's the pin gone? Nobody move. There it is. Okay, you can move now, boys. Don't forget to subscribe and like it and hit the notification bell bar button. And hit the likes, boys, please. I really appreciate that kind of stuff. If you like the RC videos, why wouldn't you? I don't mind doing this today, actually. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Things are coming together just plentiful, boys. Those peoples. So I gotta figure out which way that screw goes. Does anybody remember what screw is what? Because I don't. Which one's the top? Which one's the bottom? That's the bottom, so that's the way I want her. I think I just lost a caliper. Just saying. How the hell did that fall out? I had to slide the stupid thing off to get it on, and now it fell out. There we go, there's one. Oh, they just tip in. They tip in, they do. Slide that in. Man, that wind's blowing out there today, boys. Hey, she's freaking windy. Windy, Wendy. Freaking right it is. 31 minutes into her, boys. Girls, peoples, YouTubers. There we go. So that's a spare, and that's a spare, and that's a spare, and we'll keep all that stuff for extra days, eh? For another day, boys. That goes both ways, so we're good. So now what we need to do we need to take this trailing arm off. Let's set this aside. Take this trailing arm off and we'll straighten her up. Jim. And of course I gotta take off that pad to get the damn trailing arm off. So you gotta remove this side panel and then you gotta take off this nut or bolt or screw and then we take it out. And look at that. She's a little cocky she is, eh? That thing's supposed to be straight, boys. So let's get that thing straight, though, because I don't think I got a new one. That's one thing I do not have. So we'll take this outside and I'll give her a straight job in the vise, so I'll be right back. Wait here for me. Why wouldn't you? So she's not 100%, but she's pretty good. So when you stick this back in now, it's got three holes there. You can adjust or you can. So there's that back in. Good, good, good. We'll put the side panel back on. We're going to give this thing a bath after two of your. Mind you, I'm not one for bathing them too much, eh? They used to be, but... I'm not as picky as I used to be either. So that's it. So now I want to find out what's going on with the transmission because I know damn well we melted something and I don't know what. So let's get out the manual here. We'll have a little look-see and see what else is on that. Where the hell I do with that? Might have to relate to the internet. What do we got here? X-Max. What do I do with all my manuals, boys? I hit them somewhere. They're probably in the garage somewhere. Oh, God. I have no idea what to do with the manual, so we're going to have to get out the trusty old iPad we are and see if we can't find what we're looking for. What the hell do the goddamn manuals? UDR Desert Racer? Decent. Parts list? Bah! She's coming. Bah! I want diagram. I want pictures, boys. I'm a picture kind of guy. What is going on here, Traxxas? Just search in Google for friggin' UDR parts diagram. It's much quicker. Anybody that's into the RCs know what part I'm looking for. Man, I thought I had some of them. So, I gotta order some parts, boys. Need to order. Where'd my iPad go? What'd you do with it? The hell'd you do with it? Got it. So, I need part number... 8555. 8589. What else should I get while I'm ordering, boys? 8542. There it is. 8589. Output shaft transmission X-ring. So there's a ring that I melted right off, her boys. Oh, you know what else, you know what else I did? I took the bearing out of it. I need bearings, too. Wow, that's a lot of damage for one little rip, boys. Five, one, eight, zero. Apple. So that's what I need, boys. So let's get a little message off to my buddy Dennis there. Hey, Dennis, I'm going to text you a part number, boys. Actually, I need that other part, too, for the friggin' slosh rooski, don't I? Just killing all sorts of birds with one stones I am. Doop, hey, doop. Seven, four, three, zero. All right, boys, so we got that part ordered. So we'll get the rear end back in here, and we'll slide the drive shaft back on. You know what? The drive, it comes with an extra drive shaft. Is there a pin in that? Why would there be, eh? Let's put the trailing arms back in first and we'll hook up all the uh, stuff for that. Slide that back in, we'll tighten it up. Where's my tools, boys? And we'll slap this one back on. Wow, oh, careful. There we go. Slap the old shocks back together with whatever screws come out of that, which I can't remember. Why wouldn't I have it in upside down? This video is gonna be hell to edit. Can you believe I bought these trailing arms when I bought the UDR and that was how long ago? I haven't even freaking used them yet. There we go, that's better. It actually lines up now. Glad I don't know what I'm doing. Have to see how long these arms last. I would think they'd outlast the car, to be honest with you. Uh, my hands are falling apart, they are. You know what's gonna happen. Those are gonna fall right out, because of course my Loctite isn't in the box. 
The thing in between the output shaft we're showing you here is just a rubber bushing, eh? So what I did is I just went out and I got my trusty old tap repair kit and I just took a little ring and I drilled the hole out bigger and it slides right over it, boys. There you go, eh? That's all you gotta do. And it's just a bumper. When it bottoms out, it doesn't bottom out against the transmission. There's a bump there. So that was an easy freaking fix, eh? So we'll slide that on there like so, eh? Like so. And that gives me a little bumper there again. Can you see it? Probably not. So I took the pin off the rear end so I can put the drive shaft back on. And that way I can put her back together on this end. I don't have any grub screws. You can use a grub screw in these, but I don't have any. I can probably make one. Maybe I will, eh? Maybe I'll make one, boys. There we go. We just gotta check travel once we get it back in and make sure that's not too big of a piece, eh? Because you don't wanna bind her up. You don't wanna bind her up, Jim. So we got that shock. Let's get this shock back together. And like I was doing there before I got interrupted. From doing whatever the hell I was doing. We get this back. Oh, fuck, I was looking for Loctite. For fuck's sakes. So when you're using aluminum, you always wanna make sure you Loctite your friggin' screw holes, boys. Because if you don't, it'll just fall out. So there's one side. We'll give the old spin job. We'll do the other side. Screws are disappearing. There's one. Where the hell the other one go? So we'll get this one in. Still don't understand why I'm missing one screw that's a little bit longer than the other. Oh well, I got lots of screws. We might lose the hydro here because the wind is just a blowing, boys. She's going sideways out there. Well, there we go. So there's the trailing arms. We got these in. So now we need the rear end. And we'll slap it back together. Try to find the hole, Jim. Go in and crook it, boys. Fuck off. Quit being an asshole. Now we'll bolt these on so it kind of holds it up out of the way for me. <clears throat> Nothing is easy, boys. So there's them. So now let's just check. And there you go. It doesn't bottom out. See? That's perfect. Can you see that? Probably not. Look up here where I put the bushing. See how it just bumps against the rear end? It stops it from slapping, eh? So that works good. That would be just freaking decent perfect. So there's that one. Spinner. Slap her in, Jim. Here we go again, hey? Okay. Looking for more screws we are. There we go. Oh yeah, boys. Limiter straps back on. What? You weren't supposed to be home so soon. What happened? I wanted to get back before the weather got worse. Oh, American chip, boys. What do you think about Mama's new haircut? Not too bad, eh? You don't like it, do you? No. I like it. Sweet barbecue, boys. Hey, Mama went to the old American States there. She did, she did. Yes. Was it busy over there? No. Decent. Thanks, babe. You can take them upstairs with you, though. I don't need them down here. Appreciate it. Why wouldn't you? Here we go. I have the technology. I can rebuild. Rebuild her quick, too. There we go. So all I can do is put the center plate back on. She's back to normal, and she's got the aluminum trailing arms, boys. That should keep her together a little better, eh? We're right, it should. I should try to make a grub screw for that so I don't have to wait until my parts come into play. That's what I say. I hate waiting to play. So let's see what we can find here. But they gotta be ground down a little bit. If I had a grub screw, or a really short screw, I could just wedge it for now too. Now you know what I mean, just put the screw in. And it puts a wedge on it. So all I'm doing is taking a screw like this, and I'm just turning it in, and I'm just gonna basically throw pressure on the old drive shaft. It's just a temporary fix, but it works. <laughs> Got water in there, I can't see nothing. What the hell? Gotta give her a blow job, we do. My eyes are dick, boys. So if you just tighten that up like that. She's a weapon. But it works. But at least that gives me my uh, drivetrain back. That's gonna put one hell of a wobble in her. Grub screw would be ideal. What the hell do I do with all them things? I used to have all kinds of grub screws. I don't have one damn grub screw anywhere. It's a problem, you fling them things out and then you don't have them anymore. Why wouldn't the UDR extra drive shaft come with one? Geez, that would be nice if it did, wouldn't it? Why would it come with a new aluminum drive shaft? That's something that we need. Oh, I got a brand new freaking servo too for the old rock crawlers if I break one. 20 kilogrammer, boy. That's freaking decent. So we have that for a spare. Ain't nothing like a good spare, do we? I'm going to flip this back over and put the bottom chassis plate back on after we get the grass off of it. There, that's better. A little wash off. So we'll slap that back in like that, we'll slap that back down like that, and then we'll try to remember where all the damn screws go. So these screws were long, they were the long ones they were, and then we got two shorties. Bob, can you see? Probably not. So we'll get these screwed in. Decent. I just can't do this, man. My friggin' arms are killing me right now. There we go. 
So she's back together. Just like that. I'm gonna leave the body off her for now because she looks pretty freaking cool like that, it does. Oh man, I really need the body on to protect this chassis though. I'll think about that. What do you think, kitty kitty? Yeah, you sitting back here watching that, are you? Freaking right here. I'll try to cobble screw something together for you here of uh, mending the old UDR. So she's good to go for the next run. Until I get more parts and then it'll be even better, eh? Until next time, keep on keeping on, boys, and uh, you know what to do for now. Mm -hmm.